Hello everyone, hope you are in the best of health. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add other effect to header navigation menu on Shopify. For example, I'm on my Shopify store right here and I would have to tap on the main menu to see the drop down menu as you can see right here. From this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to simply hover over the main menu and then you'll see the drop down menu without having to click on it. So customers will be able to easily access your drop down menu without clicking on it. And also if you don't know how to create a drop down menu, I'll show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is go into your Shopify admin dashboard as you can see right here. Once you have done that, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option. And right where you see online store, you are going to tap right there. After tapping on online store, you will be redirected to the themes page. And by the way, the steps that I'm about to show you works with any theme. So all you have to do is scroll down and right beside customize, you are going to tap on the three dots. Then you are going to select edit code. After selecting edit code, you'll be redirected to this page. And in the search files section in the top left hand corner, I want you to type in header. After selecting header liquid, what I want you to do next is simply copy and paste this code. So there will be no need to download an app or anything like that. And I'll be leaving this code in the description. So simply copy the code. Then you are going to go back into your Shopify store. And from here, I want you to scroll down until roughly number 515 for most themes. So you are going to scroll all the way down. So scroll down and right where you see the first thing I want you to see is this section right here, header slash menu. After you have seen header slash menu, you are going to paste it right below navigation. So most of the time it will be right below number 514 so you're going to put it at 515 right here and you'll simply paste the code that you have copied after you have pasted the code you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner then after it has been saved you are going to tap on preview store after tapping on preview store as you can see right here once i hover over the main menu you can see that the drop down menu appears as you can see right here i don't have to click on it so your customers won't have to click on the main menu to see your drop down menu as you can see there now if you don't know how to create a drop down menu i'll be showing you how to do that right now the first thing you want to do is go over again to your admin page as you can see right here then you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select online store. After selecting online store, you are going to tap on navigation. And once you have selected navigation, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, all you have to do is tap on main menu. After tapping on main menu, you'll be redirected to this page. And for example, you can see my menu layout right here. And more than likely yours will only have home and if you had added the track order or so on you'll have them now to create a drop down menu is actually quite easy so let's say i want to create a drop down menu one more addition right below kitchen right here or let's say i want to add one right below home all you'll have to do is simply tap right where you see add menu item so you could tap on add menu item at the bottom of the page right here. After you have tapped on add menu item, you can enter the name. So let's say I just want to name this one second. So I'll type in second right here. Then you are going to tap on link. After you have tapped on link, you can search for the particular page that you would like to add this that you'd like to add to your menu option. So let's say, for example, I want to add collections. So I'll tap on collections. After I've tapped on collections, you can see the different collections right here. I have the option to add all collections or I could select a particular collection. 
I'll add all collections. After you have done that, you are going to tap on add in the bottom right hand corner. So I've now created a new menu. Now to make this a drop down menu, all you will have to do now is simply slide it up. Then you'll pull it to the right. So you are going to pull it to the right instead of putting it directly below contact. All you will have to do is simply slide it to the right. So you can see right there that it is a drop down menu below contact. So if you wanted it to be a drop down menu, let's say I want just for example sake for it to be a drop down menu below track order. All I have to do is simply pull it to the right, right below track order. And you can see that it is now a drop down menu. So all I would have to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner. After tapping on save, if I were to go back, tap on online store, then select preview your store. Then now you can see right there that it is now a drop down menu as you can see right here. Because remember before, truck order was not a drop down menu. And if you would like to delete or do any changes, you can also do that. You can delete any one of the menu options again. All you would have to do is go back into online store, select navigation. Then let's say for example, I want to delete this drop down menu. I'll simply tap on delete, then select remove. Then I'll tap on save. Now, if I were to preview the store again, all you have to do after you have deleted it, you could tap on view your online store. And after tapping on view your online store, you can see that it, the track your order is no longer a drop down menu as it was before. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. You will realize that I don't have a drop down menu again right there once it has been refreshed. Let's give it a few seconds. 